There are two main factors when configuring your mouse. The physical distance your mouse moves to complete a 360 degree revolution in game and keeping that distance consistent across all games you play. But first we need to talk about enhanced pointer precision. While acceleration may not be as terrible as many claim, some games will inherit acceleration from EPP while others like Quake Champions will not. This means that if you follow everything else in this video but have EPP turned on, your mouse behavior may not be consistent between games. So what you need to do right now is press the Windows key, type main.cpl, press enter, click the pointer options tab, uncheck enhanced pointer precision, then click apply and OK. Now that we have that taken care of, let's talk about measuring the distance your mouse moves to complete a 360 degree revolution. Boot up your favorite game and find a straight vertical edge in the world and align it with the side of your monitor. Mark where your mouse starts and complete one full revolution, realigning the side of your monitor with the same vertical edge once complete. Cut a piece of tape to this distance and stick it to the top of your mouse surface. You can now use this tape to help adjust your sensitivity in any other game so your 360 revolution matches an identical distance. Again, find a vertical edge in the game world and align it to the side of your monitor. Complete one full revolution and realign the edge. Increase or decrease your sensitivity as needed and repeat until a 360 revolution matches the distance of your tape. This is a quick and simple solution that will get your sensitivity matched well enough. However, if you want it perfectly matched, I recommend that you look into mousesensitivity.com or Kovac Sensitivity Matcher. So how long is your piece of tape? If you're using default settings, this is probably less than 10 centimeters. While there are many great players who play at this sensitivity, I encourage everybody to at least try a sensitivity of a much longer revolution in the 20 to 40 centimeter range. This is where you find most great players tune their mouse sensitivity to. Whether you adjust your mouse DPI or in-game sensitivity to get here literally doesn't matter, but it's generally advised to keep your mouse set to at least 400 DPI or greater. Finally, I want to mention that I'm a huge advocate of mouse acceleration. Definitely not for everyone, most don't use it, but consider that the current Pro League champion as well as both current and former QuakeCon champions all use acceleration. However, again, consistency is king to making this all work. If you want to try out acceleration, look into the mouse driver called Povo Hats Intercept Excel. This will allow you to employ the same mouse acceleration across all games you play. Just be sure to close Intercept Excel whenever matching your 360 degree revolution distance. With that, I believe this concludes all the essential information you need regarding your mouse sensitivity. If you want further information regarding Kovac Sensitivity Matcher or Povo Hats Intercept Excel, I'll leave that for you to look up. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them below. I hope to see you all in the arena and praise Quake.